Now for this next part, to estimate the median and quartiles, what we need to do is add another column to our frequency table, and that is commutative frequency. So commutative frequency is where we look at how many values are less than or equal to a particular value. So in this particular instance, we're looking that 10 values are less than or equal to the upper bound here, 10. And then we've got a total now of 10 and 16, 26 values, which are less than or equal to the upper bound of 14. And if we carry on down the table, just adding these up, we get 50 are less than or equal to 18, and 85 less than or equal to 25, and finally 100 less than or equal to the upper bound 40. Okay, well that's our commutative frequency table. So when it comes to estimating what the median is, we would want the 50th value. So the median, which will be the 50th value, let's just put equals 50th value, is going to equal, well, 50th value, 50 values are less than or equal to 18, so 50 value, let's just estimate that as being 18. Now when it comes to working out the quartiles, we'll start with the lower quartile. The standard letter is Q1, so I'm going to use Q1 for that. Okay, the lower quartile equals Q1. And it's going to be essentially the 25th value because we've got 100 values in this example. So, where does that 25th value, where is it? Okay, what class is it in? Well, the 25th value is going to be in the interval 10 to 14, this one here. And what I would do is I would draw that class interval going from 10 to 14. We know that we've got 26 values which are less than the upper bound here, 26. And we know that the number of values less than 10 are going to be 10. So the 25th value is going to be somewhere close to the 14. Okay, we've got 10 values up to this 10. We've got 26 values up to this 14. So the 25th value somewhere here, okay, is going to be our Q1, lower quartile. Now when I'm working out things like this, I use this system. I compare intervals. I compare this width here with the lower width there. And that ratio is exactly the same as comparing 10 to 14 compared with the width 10 to 26. I'll just draw that as a line through there, a solid line through there, okay? Just a colour guide just to give you some idea of what I'm doing. So I set up an equation, a ratio equation. The width here given by the red dotted line is Q1 minus 10 compared with a similar width below, which is 25 minus 10, that's given by that solid red line, is exactly the same, exactly the same ratio as comparing the green dotted width here, that would be 14 minus 10, that's the width of the class, compared to this solid green line here, which is the frequency, the in that interval, 26 take away 10. So all I need to do is to simplify this. We've got Q1 minus 10 over 5 equals 14 take 10, which is 4, over 26 minus 10, which is 16. Rearrange this to get Q1 as being 4 over 16 
times 5 and then plus 10. And what you get for that is 11.25. Now do a similar method now for working out the upper quartile. So we'll do a similar diagram to that. Let's just rule this one off here. What would my diagram look like? Well, first of all, where is the lower, the sorry, the upper quartile going to be? Let's just put it in upper quartile. It's going to be given by Q3. Remember, the median is often called Q2. So upper quartile Q3, and because we've got a hundred values, it's going to be three quarters of the way along. That's the 75th value. So again, I'd be drawing my class interval. So where is the 75th value going to appear? Well, it's going to appear in the 18 to 25 class interval. So I'd put 18 on the top here, 25 on the end. And we know that we've got 85 values that are less than or equal to 25. So I'll put 85 on the end there. And how many values are less than 18? 50. I'm looking for the 75th value. It's going to be somewhere up here. So that would be my Q3. And I need the 75th value. So again, just like the one up here, I start to compare intervals. So I would do Q3 minus 18, Q3 minus 18, compare it with this interval below here, 75 minus 50, and that's going to be exactly the same ratio as comparing the total width, 25 minus 18, compared to the width below here, 85 minus 50. That gives us the frequency of how many values are in this class interval. Rearrange this for Q3. I'll leave that up to you to do, but you should find that you get Q3 equals 23. All right.